realised I've never had enough negative men in my life. And um, I think it was because I was a writer. There's a saying in Hollywood, nobody sleeps with the writer. And I find that <laughs> nobody was sleeping with me. In fact, they weren't even taking their clothes off, right? We've all been there. So I decided if I picked up a camera and asked men to take their clothes off, I might at least get to see guys naked. And that's what I did. And then I met this guy who was a rower at Warwick University um, in England, where I was living. And um, I said, have you guys ever thought of doing one of those naked calendars? It's a big thing in the UK as a charity fundraiser for groups of people to do these fun naked calendars. You never get to see anything really naughty, just maybe a bottom. Um, and um, they were like, yeah, let's do that. Ten years later, here we are at RuPaul's Drag Con. What can I say? So I don't think it was really hard to get the guys to take their clothes off because there is this culture of naked calendars like Angus was speaking about. Um, what really uh, was making a difference is that the guys were taking, basically as the project evolved, we then started to realize that there was a huge problem in sport, which was homophobia. We realized that homophobia wasn't the single problem in sport, it was just a symptom of a, of a wider society problem, which is heteronormativity, it's like women don't do sports, gay men don't do sports, sports is only reserved and privileged for um, the straight men. And so basically, taking our clothes off became a way for us to show our commitment to fighting those issues. And with the cause, basically the guys took their clothes off a lot more easily because it was the only way to really show how we, how much we were committed to what we were doing. And so for me, um, I came in, the project was already a bit oiled up, uh, it was four years ago. Um, and so there was a bit of a culture within my club and so and I heard about the cause which I deeply care about and now four years later I'm even more committed and it's not just you know a challenge to take my clothes off I do it for fun. <laughs> and he does it beautifully by the way. <laughs> four years he's had lots of practice so you can find him in our 2016, 17, 18 and 19 calendars and all our books and all our films since 2016 as well. So if you like Lucas you know where to go warwickrowers.org In the UK, if you're being homophobic, you've got no place at university, really. Uh, then, about other athletes outside the university environment, I don't know, because, you know, but I, it's, never, I've ne it's never been a problem for me. And, I mean, the only thing that I get is probably, like, my mates, you know, kind of taking their hats, you know, they're like showing their respect and they're admiring what we do because all in all we're a bunch of straight athletes and we are embracing the LGBT community, we are embracing the challenges of today's society and we're doing something about it and we have fun doing it which is something that is very cool. Yeah, definitely. I think um, it is a problem, and but the thing is, the amount of objectification that I'm getting, I know, is nowhere near close to what women can experience. And so, it's not. I'm not saying that I'm willing to accept it, but I think what by getting naked is we kind of challenging the fact that we've been objectifying women for decades and basically taking our clothes off the message that you know women can look at naked straight men too but also gay male because gay like gay male when they're you know in the changing rooms at school in team sports they're really scared of doing that and they're really scared to do that even in the streets because they're scared of the other other person's reaction and what we're saying is that as Miss Cracker was saying we are we need to accept everybody the way they are and so this is part of our messaging. Oh wow that's a difficult one. Um, Oh my god, like, I, do you realize that we actually take maybe 20,000 photos every year? <laughs> uh, that's how much content we create. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I don't know, maybe my favorite shot is, I don't know if it's one of me, the first year that I did, we went up to the hills in south of Spain and basically there had been a recent bushfire. 
and basically I was uh, up in a tree and had ashes on my body and it looks very kind of nature and I quite like this shot. But I do look a lot, a lot younger than I am now. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very beautiful shot, but I, I have to say, I think that, um, and I'm not just saying this to, to make you buy our new products, but the shots that we've done this year in Italy, in Positano, are, they're just at another level. Um, and Lucas has just gone to another level there, I think, in terms of... When I first met Lucas four years ago, he was he was this sweet puppyish student French boy from the Alps. Now he's this hot guy, right? I mean, and I think in our shoots this year we really show um, the man, and, and, and I'm very, very proud of that. I'm very proud of him.